What is going on YouTube? Alright, so this is going to be part one of the Lou Gehrig tour. Right now we are in New Rochelle, New York, and uh, we are on Meadow Lane, also known as Lou Gehrig Way. How did it get that name? Because the house Lou Gehrig lived in from 1928 to 1933 is right on this street. And that's where we're going to take you right now. And this, my friends, was the famous Lou Gehrig's house. This house is, uh, it, it's a beautiful home. Actually, it's uh, under construction right now. But uh, Lou Gehrig bought this house, I believe, in 1928. And lived here until 1933 when he married uh, Eleanor Twitchell and moved to a different home. But, yep. Even down to the garage is where Lou Gehrig used to park his car. This is amazing. So, uh, because nobody actually is living here at the moment, take a little liberties and get a little closer. I'm not going to be able to get inside, obviously, but take a look at this. Lou Gehrig's front porch. I mean, look at these. Look. Maybe that was Lou Gehrig's coffee cup. But check it out. These benches, these are original. Lou Gehrig used to sit out here and just hang out. This is amazing. Give you a little view into the home. You can see that uh, it's being worked on at the moment. But yeah, this was Lou Gehrig's house. This stuff like this amazes me. It truly, truly does. This is just so cool thinking of the history of this place. The Iron Horse, that was his fireplace. This is really cool. Let's see if we could zoom up on what that is. Like Babe Ruth. Ah, that is awesome. Babe and Lou right there. That's too cool. And of course today I'm being joined by the handsome Club Soda Kenny. What's up you too? Joining me on another adventure. Yeah, let's take a uh, stroll around the side here. Give you guys the full uh, wraparound tour. There's a big, big porch right here. <sighs> this is Lou Gehrig's basement. That's pretty cool. You can see there's a lot of work they're having done here. Old stone foundation. A pretty tall place. You've know, got three stories. That would have been the entrance to Lou Gehrig's basement. This room was apparently his uh, kind of upstairs screened in a uh, porch area. And this was his garage, which is pretty cool. Wow, just awesome. <clears throat> Guess it's possible. So this is it. Like I said, this is part one of the uh, Luke Gehrig tour. <clears throat> 